Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a couple of chargers made by Aki. Now these are power delivery chargers that feature 65 watts of power at a very small foam factor. And what I mean by this is, by comparison, this is the standard charger that comes with, let's say, your MacBook Pro 15 inch. It has a single USB-C charger and it's capable of providing us power to our laptop and that's it. This is the Aki 65 watt dual port USB-C charger that can charge not only my MacBook Pro, but as well as charging my Pixel 4 XL or even my iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is TK, let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of us is the Pixel 4 XL as well as the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, both of these guys will be able to basically benefit from having a smaller charger, but not only that, a dual port charger so that whenever I'm charging my MacBook Pro, I'm able to still charge my device at the same time. As you can see, the size difference is just absolutely fantastic. And that's mainly due to the GAN technology that they've had there, where they're able to basically pack in stronger, powerful chargers at a smaller form factor with more than one port. Where again, this is not that this is a bad charger, it's just it's a lot when you're carrying a lot of these little things and a lot more accessories in your backpack when you're traveling or you're going out. I would much rather carry a smaller charger that I'm able to charge both my laptop and my phone at the same time and save the space, of course, since we also have the same technology, being able to hide the actual prong so it actually literally fits really easily, even in your pocket. Now, first things first, obviously we need to talk about the fact that there is two different versions of this. We have the 65 watt PD wall charger. That's the one with the USB type A and a USB-C. The USB-C will be our power delivery up to 65 watt when used individually, meaning if you're using just one cable, you're able to get up to 65 watts to charge, let's say your MacBook Pro or any device that supports power delivery. If you use both ports, the bottom one uh, basically will take up some of the power. So the top one will only run at 45 watts. So just be aware that the power consumption uh, does actually drop the power output of this. So you're not going to be getting 65 watts all the time if you're using both ports, but single ports, you should be pretty good. On the right, we have two USB-C ports, which is really, really nice. The top one will be your PC one up to 65 watts. And again, if you're sharing the connection between the two, you drop down to 18 watts at the bottom and 45 at the top. Um, I'm not sure why it's not totaling up 65, but I think it's mostly because of the division of power to consumption. But we're still talking about a very small form factor to be able to charge up our devices. And I would rather carry something like this that's capable of charging my laptop and my phone at the same time, overtaking something that only charges one thing and takes up a lot more space. So when you have it plugged in, it does actually have a little LED that's built into the top logo uh, on top. And now Aki does sell actual cables made specifically. So this one is a USB-C to USB to Lightning made specifically for our iPhones. So again, I'm able to basically plug in my phone directly and start charging it. As you'd expect, it should be able to work very, very easily. And of course, since my phone is at 100%, it's not gonna have any problem keeping it charged. And of course, the main benefit is the ability of being able to basically keep my device charged. So this is my 11 Pro Max. I am using the original cable that came with my MacBook Pro, plugged in directly to the PD uh, port at the top. And I'll go ahead and plug it into my Mac. And you'll go ahead and see it right there. The lightning bolt came out and we should have been able to hear the, also the auditory uh, indicator. Of course, both of these things charged at the same time. Nothing's wrong with obviously using it with the original charger if you wanna be able to get the full power, the 85 watt charger, or I think it's 80, uh, 87 watt charger that comes in in the box. But again, one USB-C port just to be able to charge my device. And again, just making it so that I can only use one thing at a time. I'm still able to charge things from my MacBook Pro since I actually have two additional USB-C ports, but that power brick, or at least the charger itself, is a lot smaller and again, fits in and saves you tons of space when you're traveling or even if you're just going to school. It just works really, really good. And as you can see, we already went up to 47% on the battery. And of course, we can also use this PD port as long as you're using a USB-C to charge up other devices, even Pixel devices. I've been using both of these devices for the last couple of weeks. I have one in the office and one at home. And what I really like about them is the fact that they're very versatile and it also gives me the ability of charging my smartphones as well as my MacBook Pro at the same time without missing a beat. The form factor is nice, gives us multiple ports, and of course gives us the ability of charging not only our MacBook, but also smart devices at a much smaller size. Again, full-size MacBook port charger, and of course the standard, well, I would say the 65 watt Aki one. Again, this one is the USB-C with USB-A if you wanna be able to use that, or you can go with the dual USB-C port, which is really, really nice. Keep in mind, again, if you're charging two things at the same time, it is going to drop from 65 watts down to 45 watts on the deliver on the actual charging port. Uh, it still gives you the ability of charging your MacBook Pro at a much slower rate. So if let's say you're at 100% and you want to just stay topped off before a nice long trip, it's going to work really good while you're charging something else. 
Uh, thank you very much to Aki for allowing me to check out both of these chargers and of course sharing with you guys my experience after using them for the last couple of weeks. Like and subscribe and make sure you check the links in the description below to find out the latest specials and pricing for both of these chargers directly off of Amazon. This is TK and I'll see you guys in the next video.